All right, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a hiccup there with the recording. Um, so yeah, what we're talking about? Talking about Steve Carts and Railcraft. That's right. Uh, let's see here. So Railcraft, um, it has, it adds a whole bunch of different um, carts to the game, mine carts. However, it also adds a whole lot of different stuff actually. Uh, this tank right here is Railcraft. It's an actual multi-block unit, so you actually place these blocks down individually. And if you do that in the right, you know, use the right ones, it'll create this whole single block unit, which holds, in this case, two million units of water, which is like uh, it's a uh, thousand per bucket of water. So it's two thousand buckets, which is quite a bit. Um, and that actually is feeding this, which is a steam boiler. Um, this is also another... Railcraft uses a lot of multi-block uh, structures. This is another one too. It has two different ones. It has the, the, the nine on the bottom and then the high pressure... Uh, these are high pressure boiler on the top. So as you can see, it builds up heat and steam. And then it pumps it out through these waterproof uh, pipes here. Um, to... Da -da -da -da, steam engines. Um, these two right here are charging these two energy cells, which I'll tell you about later. But um, these put out uh, eight megajoules per second, or uh, per tick, excuse me. There's this is the industrial. There's a commercial that I think puts out four, and then there's a hobbyist steam engine that puts out two Minecrafts per tick, uh, which I have some outside which you'll see. Um, let's see here. Let me take you down here. Oh, that's not good. Need some more cold coke in there. So the boilers will explode if they get hot and they don't have any water in them. And you put water in them, it'll, they will they will explode, um, which is bad. Uh, let's see here. I'll get some more, just in case. Just in case. All right. Um, so let's go down here real quick. Here's my infinite water source that's filling up my water tank over there. Um, so down here I have um, a cart right here. This is a tank cart from Railcraft. I think this is Railcraft. And if you can see there is oil in it. Um, and it is filling up uh, these, this uh, tank right here with oil and then it's being processed using Buildcraft with these refineries to create fuel over here. Ta-da! Which I will show you. Um, actually, let me go ahead and fire it up real quick. Uh, make sure I have the right one. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, oh, come on. I'm stuck here. Like I said, this is all pretty much quick and dirty. That's why it doesn't look all that great. I was just building this map together just to show this video. So, obviously, Normal minor builds will not be this this messy or you know just thrown together. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn this on and turn this on. And there's one more up here at the top. Not that one. Oh, it's up there anyway. So that will get power going to here. Like so, you see the you see that firing up. Um, but the cart here that I wanted to show you um, is set up using a misdraft portal, uh, portal, which I will uh, show you right now, uh, but explain more about misdraft later. Uh, so if I turn this lever here, it's going to go to this unloader, liquid unloader, which is underneath the track, and it's going to drain the oil out of this and uh, put it in the tank, which will then be processed through the refineries to make fuel. Uh, but the cool thing is that you can, using Railcraft and using, um, where's that damn zombie? Using Railcraft and using, um, uh, hear that noise right there, that was it going through the portal. Um, using Railcraft and, sorry, um, Miscraft, you can cr easily create, uh, uh, liquid teleportation systems and item transportation systems, which are pretty cool. So this is my, uh, this is, as you see, that's my home, o the home over there. So I just teleported through a portal in the same world to here. And you see it filling up here. And once it's done, it will go through to here. 
Oof. And you can't see it, but for whatever reason, it's glitching right now. It's uh, it's right there. You can see the oil coming out. Um, so yeah, that is um, this is a, a, like I said, a brief taste of what Railcraft brings. There's a whole bunch of different types of tracks. Uh, these are boarding tracks. Um, there's there's like the world anchor here, which is pretty cool. It keeps this chunk loaded. If I push F9, you'll see these little purple sparklies right there. So this is the section that is keeping uh, keeping loaded. Um, even though, so, if I'm not here, this 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 whole system, this all the stuff will still work. Um, this is a quarry, which pretty much builds straight down, as you can see. Uh, it digs and sucks up all the stuff that it digs into. Uh, it just pumps it out the side, and this is this is the fruits of this quarry here. Um, I, I took some other stuff out of it already, but um, but yeah, you can see you know it's pretty 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 good. Um, pretty efficient. It is a little uh, expensive to make the quarry itself, but once you get it going, you know, it pays for itself. This little gym right here is Steve Carts. This is pretty cool. This is a fully mod modulated, uh, I guess you could call it, yeah, module, excuse me. It's a, pretty much it's a build your own cart. You have a hole, and then you can go through and create your own cart. You can put different things on it. For example, I have height control. I have uh, two internal, ch internal chest and a uh, top chest. I have a um, I can't use that. I have use stone. I have a bridge builder. So if it comes to a a, a point in which it cannot, I'm t I speak bridge. So I don't want bridge. I want stone. Um, if you if it comes to a hole, it will put down stone to actually make it um, passable. Uh, it has a torch placer, so as it goes down and it gets the light level gets a certain amount, it will place a torch. It places as a railer, so as it goes through, it will place um, tracks. Uh, tracks. I'm just getting really annoying. And it has a coal engine. Uh, they also have like solar engines and all kind of stuff that can work, you know, out of uh, work in in the. Oh, what what that was supposed to happen? Oh, I'll get it going then. Alright, so this is a height control, so it is going to start digging down, and you can see these different bands, those are the different resources, so that's diamonds, redstone, and lapis luzi, and gold, and all that kind of stuff. So there it goes. But that wasn't supposed to do that, it's supposed to stop. Go back the other way, I think I had it pointed the wrong way. So what I'll do is I'll change it. I'll make, what's that, red? Uh, let's see here. Red and that. There we go. So this is a cargo loader, cargo manager. Excuse me. Uh, which is kind of, which is kind of awesome. Um, oopsie, place the torches down because it got light level got to a certain point. Um, this will take once once the cart is full. Once all the stuff is full, it will um, come back up here and it will place the items in here. Um, it will take items out of the cart and put it on this side and it will sorry here um, it will put in this stuff the tracks and the uh, coal if it needs it. And you can see how there's a space, a hole here maybe it's where the zombies are at. Eh, nope. Um, Oh, that's a mine right there. That's my mine shaft. Interesting. Um, so we'll see here. Actually, I can probably help it along if you want to see it, but we'll just let it we'll let it do its own thing. I will put some more stone in there though, just in case. So yeah, this is yet another way of mining, and or um, using or just uh, building a tunnel. Uh, you can have it go straight through, and it will just tunnel through whatever you like. Um, and this one also has, what else it have? It has 
oh a water sensor too it will actually go around lava and water so it will not get stuck well less likely to get stuck I should say it's actually going pretty pretty quick here so it actually will probably fill up pretty soon here let me go ahead and help it out a little bit just to so you can see what it looks like when it is full. Alright, so as soon as it gets some cobble, it's going to turn around and go back up. And if I did it right, I may not, because this is my actually first time using this. Uh, Steve's carts. Getting close. And boom. So it is full. It's heading back up. Let me put some stairs down. <laughs> there you go. Use my quantum legs to jump up. Okay, so I didn't do it right. Hmm, interesting. Well, like I said, I you know my first attempt, I haven't actually, I was just kind of following a video, so like I said, not exactly the the best example. But as you can see, it does do what it's supposed to. I just have to figure out how to make it do exactly what I want it to do. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let that run out of steam here. <laughs> Literally. Hmm. Oh, I know the problem. I think. I think I know the problem. Uh, I think there needs to be a special track here. Like a holding track, maybe? Let's try... Let's try that. <laughs> now let's give it one piece. Okay, so it's not unloading anything. Hmm. Well, anywho, uh, you get the general idea. Like I said, <laughs> I'll have to sit down and figure it out, but at least it's stopped there for now. Um, let's go ahead and show you guys a couple things. I'm actually actually not going through all of them because there's quite a few mods, um, and like I said, I don't know all of them yet. Um, the next, the the big one I'll show you is Miscraft. The last, actually, this will be the last one. Uh, second last one. I'll sh I'll save one of my favorites for last. Um, Miscraft is a pretty much it's a mod that sets up other dimensions and you are able to modify them um, to, to have them be what you want. For example, I made this one. This is my mining age. Um, I made it have autumn woods, desert, and swampland. It has large biomes. It's bright. It's uh, chromatic, clouds, blue sky, white clouds, red fog, crystals, glowstone crystals, lava lakes, center terrain, eternal day, so it's always going to be day, and normal weather. So if I click on this, I get teleported to this land. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Um, this is totally different dimension. Imagine it like another another nether. Uh, neither. It's totally different. This is nothing uh, to do with the other overworld. This is totally separate. Um, and you see, there's the the crystal formations, the glowstone formations. Um, this is the autumn uh, autumn. 
Autumn Forest, I think it's called. Let me check. Autumn Woods. So you see all the really cool colored trees. I like it as one of my favorite ones. Um, and I believe these are actually um, different pieces of wood. Yep, spruce. So I think you can actually get and plant if you wanted to have um, different colored leaves, trees. Um, and this is the swampland, I think. Uh, maybe. Yeah, swamp land, yeah. Um, but yeah, I created it, my mine down here. Um, this I, I did this by hand, uh, starting off when I was doing <laughs> things legitly. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, it's it's totally customizable. You can make these other ages for for projects, for for crafting, for mining, uh, for mob spawners, pretty much whatever you can think of, you can use it. But what I want to show you is I want to show you actually how you start off. I actually cheated in the book that has all of the uh, symbols already in it, which are right here. This notebook has all of the symbols in it, You can actually how you write it. But the way you actually find those out is, is you actually create these ages and find ages with certain features. And then you... Um, what happened? What's going on here? There we go. Um, and then you actually learn those into the notebook that you have, and you can then go through and use those as as you see as you uh, want want them. So I'll actually go ahead and make I'll actually make one right now. So I'm gonna need two books and a feather. Okay, so the first one I'm going to make is a linking book. That is how you get back. The second one I'm going to make is a descriptive book. So what you do is you open up the descriptive book. It's age eight. This is the eighth, eighth one I made. You click on it, and this is totally random. I have no idea what I'm going to get on this one. Um, it's going to be all totally generated off the, off the top of a uh, so craft's head, so to say. And I don't know if it's just not generated yet, or is this a void world? Oh, there we go. All right, so it looks like it's dark, <laughs> and there are huge trees all around me, and thunderstorms, maybe an eternal storm, maybe. There's some pretty crazy stuff that goes on in these things. Uh, let's see if I can change the. I can't. Okay. Okay, so there is. There's no daytime, <laughs> it looks like. And there's a creeper. A creeper. But yeah, really tall trees. So what we could do is we use our uh, linking book to go back to the overworld. And as you see, that linking book's no longer in my inventory. It stays there, just as this one stays uh, in this world, in overworld. So if I go to here, and I'll take this out, I'm just going to get a normal notebook so you can see what it looks like. Notebook. This one is going to be blank, it's not going to have anything written in it. So what we do is we take that place we went to, boom, and we, it'll put in the symbols, that we, the symbols that we had in there. So it was an alpine, forested hills, and mushroom lands shore. Uh, it had small biomes. It was dark. I uh, had huge trees, which it definitely had huge trees, and lava lakes. Uh, standard terrain, slow time, hmm, interesting, and fast weather. Huh. So, there you go. <laughs> That's what that is. So that was what you do is you go through and create a whole bunch of different notebooks, uh, sorry, a whole bunch of different uh, descriptive books, and then I can actually go in there if I want to keep this, I can could, I could name it um, Crazy Tree Land. And then when I took it out, it would keep that name, Crazy Tree Line. Um, and then, if you see this little stand right here, you can actually... Um, you can either put it on a lectern, like so. Boom. And then you just click on it, and it'll stay here, instead of being placed on the ground. Because if you leave it on the ground, there's a chance that it could be destroyed. Um, 
So yeah, that's that's Miss Craft. Um, obviously, the portals that you saw, the blue crystal portals, those are also another thing that you can see. Uh, those you actually can put. Um, I don't know if I showed you or not, but there's a, on the side of the crystal, on the side of the portal, there's like a book place that you can put books in there, and that's what creates the portal to wherever it is that you want it to go, which is which is kind of cool. Um, the last model I'm going to show you is, if you can see this little thing right here, it was in my inventory, I was kind of, you know, leave it in there as a teaser. Yes, this is in fact a portal gun. And yes, you can use it just like you would in the portal game. Um, not only that, you can um, pick up things with it, including it would not be a portal mod without, you guessed it, your very own weighted companion cube. Ta-da! Ooh, look, it loves me! <laughs> um, not only that, they also have, um, uh, they also have the, um, pretty much anything from Portal, Portal 2 you can think of, they actually put in, they have the, the, um, the bounce plates. Mm, hold on a second here. Make sure I don't get killed. Um, let's see. Let's go through real quick here. Oh, there it is. So it has um, portal spawner. It has uh, weighted commanding cube, weighted storage cube unit. Well, actually, will drop down a cube just like the game. Um, it has sentry turrets. Yes, it has sentry turrets. It has the oracle turrets, which are pretty cool. Has defective turrets, and yes, they do talk. You won't regret this. <laughs> Watch and learn, everybody. Watch and learn. <laughs> um, and yes, the the sentry turrets actually do shoot. They actually do shoot um, things. Program pedestal. They have the aerial faith plate, which are really cool, and it even has some of the music you can put into the music box. Yeah. There's different portal guns with different portal colors. Touché, okay. young lady. Touché. And, um, and all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, you can use them on mobs. You can use them, you know, for example. <laughs> and then you can launch it. And you can reset it. Turn them off by pushing R. Um, but yeah, uh, that was pretty much, I mean, there's like I said, there's, there's all different types of stuff in the portal mod that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't go through factorization, I didn't go through um, Thomcraft. This is the factoriz factorization mod part here. Uh, pretty much just a way to triple the amount of ore that you get out of a single ore block, the amount of ingots. This is a very long process that takes like a good 20 or 40 minutes in, in real time to, to go through the whole process. So it is it is quite a bit, but it does, you know, increase the amount of, 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 uh, of ore you get. This is the th uh, thermal expansion, which is pretty cool. has a whole bunch of nif dif different nifty stuff. Uh, Aqueous accumulator pretty much gets water out of the atmosphere. Uh, glacier participator uses water to create either snow, uh, ice, or snowballs. Um, the igneous reader creates uh, lava out of um, uses sorry uses lava and water to create either obsidian stone or cobblestone. So it's pretty much a single block cobble, uh, cobble generator. Magma crucible can either melt uh, uh, netherrack and other stuff uh, cobblestone to make lava, or can also melt redstone, which uh, liquid redstone is what fills these up right here. I should turn these off before they explode because they will. Um, and so they have like their own inspelter, a sawmill that increases the amount of wood that you get. For example, you get six instead of four per one and you get sawdust. Uh, pulverizer uh, is the same thing as like a macerator, gives you increased uh, ore. Then a powered furnace, mega crucible, which like I said would melt if it had power. It's off right now. Uh, and liquid transposers takes that liquid redstone and puts it into stuff. Example, these right here, these energy cells. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you this real quick. Uh, right now I have it in cheap mode, 
Um, but let me go ahead and change that. Actually, no, I have it recipe mode. Okay, so recipe mode is what I usually use. Um, pretty much, you can search for a bunch of stuff, which makes it nice if you're trying to fix them. How do I make a macerator? Oh, look, there's a macerator, right? If I push R, it shows me the recipe. Pretty cool, right? And uh, let's say, uh, let's see if I got um, piston. So uh, how do I make a piston? It makes a piston. Okay, so what? Um, what do what I use a piston for? If I hit U, it shows me 18 pages of what uses pistons. Like machines, engines, rock crusher, switch lever, undercutter cart, all this stuff you can see is uses pistons. So that's kind of cool. It'll show you what it's used for if you have a question like, oh, what the hell is that for? Um, this stuff over here is shouldn't be there. I think, oh, why is it? Why it shouldn't? Sh I thought it would go away without that. But you can save and load inventories from different things if you want to. Like I said, obviously I don't do that uh, in, in a real multiplayer. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much the basis of my walkthrough. Like I said, it's not exactly the most concise thing I was planning on doing. But like I said, I just want to give you guys a feel, a taste of what these mods have to offer. I mean, this is, I mean, I'm literally just scratching the surface of every single one of these. Um, almost all of these mods have a very extensive wikis and forums and posting that kind of stuff. Um, and I mean, there it's like I said, I'm just barely, barely scratching the surface. They're all very, very in depth. I, I feel um, they did a very good job picking picking these out. Uh, Red Power Two obviously is my favorite, um, and I will actually be over uh, go at the setup my other old server again so that actually might take me a little bit to do um, but I will show you what I did using red power and that pretty much red power in combined with all these other mods just makes um, just it totally like amps up the whole experience in my opinion uh, they just everything works so well together um, and like I said if, once you see, once you see a few videos if you go look online just look at some of uh, direwolf 20s videos the stuff that he makes with red power is just so much fun so uh, ta ta for now, and once I get back for uh, that, my old server up and running, I will record that video and then we will go ahead and put this up for people to watch. So, to see you later.